Hi, good morning. Um, this is myself, Balu. Balu. Let me see now uh, course details. Uh, CCNA version 3. What is CCNA? And uh, what to require? Certified by CCNA and types of CCNA certifications. What does the CCNA course consist of? Uh, these details. Like all about these course details, let me introduce one. Initially, the uh, first thing is what is CCNA? CCNA is a popular certification among the computer network engineers. What is the full form of CCNA? Cisco Certified Network Associate. Let me make it clear about the CCNA. Open on paint. <coughs> In CCNA, the first C is what? Cisco. So what is Cisco? Cisco is one organization. Like you have a HP, Samsung, Dell, these are the devices will do. Organizations will manufacture some mobiles, laptops, servers, printers. Example HP. HP is a organization which manufactures your laptops, printers, servers. Like uh, Samsung is a manufacturer which manufactures what mobiles, right? Similarly, Cisco is also an organization which manufactures networking devices like router, which is uh, firewalls, IP phones. Not only Cisco in in, in market have many vendors that are available. Like a D-Link, even HP also will do networking device manufacturing. The leading manufacturer company Cisco in international market. So these leading manufacturer companies providing one certification course for to become the network engineers. Like we have. Different levels of uh, certification tracks are available entry level network engineers, network administrators, network support engineers, and network specialists. Different levels is there. Introduction to Cisco certification. This is the Cisco certification tracks. Security is one track, risk provider, voice, wireless, there are different tracks that are available at present now. What is work with and voice platform or wireless platform? To start your career in any other platforms, your prerequisite is routing and switching. After Finishing off after passing off your routing and switching examination certification, then only we can able to write security, voice, or wireless, any other track. Okay. Like then how to start routing and switching? Have different levels is it? Entry level of routing and switching, associate level, professional level, expert, and Arctic level. Just different levels. Entry level means the certification name is CCENP. Cisco certified entry level network technician. Very few people will start from the entry level. Similarly, very few people can reach up to Arctic level, right? So mostly we can start from associate level. If you start associate level, your entry level also will be covered here. That is our CCNA course. Like after finishing up, after passing of CCNA in associate level of routing and switching. Then you can go for security or voice or wireless, any other track. Or else, if you want to start your career in routing and switching, then go for NP level routing and switching, IE level routing and switching, and Arctic level routing and switching like this. Okay. 
now cc and a the routing and switching exam is exam code is certification code is 200 125 these are the tracks this is cnt expert technician then associative professional expert and also now we are in here actually associate level there are two tracks for cc exam one is two paper track is icnd1 and icnd2 on passing of ICND one paper, the candidate is a entry level network technician. After passing of ICND two, then only candidate become what associate level. The two papers track. Now, other one more track is one paper track is two hundred one twenty five. On passing of this exam, candidate is what associate level uh, certified. Let me discuss. This is recommended. Let me discuss about this pattern. Two hundred one twenty five. Like 225 is a thousand marks. Out of thousand, you have to score 810 is a passing mark. Like number of questions are 50 to 60. 90 minutes is a termination. It's an online examination. You have to write uh, Cisco authorized exam something. What it is? 25 it's now 810 one in english the question paper types is multiple choice with single answer multiple choice with multiple answer drag and drop simulation scenario based the pattern type so these books you can refer to for routing as well this book is officially like what topics we are going to cover in this course is you can see the small introduction about your course content <coughs> this course will help you based upon these parameters The first one is network fundamentals, WAN technology, routing technology, LAN switching technology, infrastructure services, security management, and security fundamentals. Say network fundamentals first. What you're going to cover in the network fundamental means basic of networking, like what is network, types of network, how to form a network. What requirements to form a network? Or what is LAN? What is MAN? Uh, WAN? All about fundamentals of it. And IPv4 addresses logics in IPv4. Like how many IPv4 are available and how many classes have been classified? In each class or what purpose is being resolved? And network IDs, broadcast IDs, which class IP address, where to use, and how to differentiate the network position, host position. All about IPv4 logics clearly will discuss on this fundamental summit. And similarly, IP version 6 also. IPv4 and IPv6, like where we use IPv4, and why V6, IPv6 is required, how to understand IPv6 logics also discussed here. The OSI layers, like how data is being transmission from one device to another device, how data is flowing. Is TCP IP protocol. These all concepts we will discuss in network fundamental. Like this is a point here. Learn the knowledge and skills to install, configure, operate a small to medium size of it. Like after taking this course, you should be able to identify the components of computer network and all about networking information. Understanding the model of host to host communication, like one device to another device communication. For example, I have a device here. 
in one location, your device in Hyderabad. Maybe your friend device in the US, different location. Your mobile is another mobile phone. Your device connected to internet. Maybe your friend device also connected to internet. All are connected to internet, right? Now from Hyderabad, if you text to your friend, hi, hello friend, within a second, he will receive, right? Yeah. The thing is, from your device, let's say your device is a source, your friend device is a destination. Between what type of connectivity, what type of technology, what type of device are being involved, the back end, how your data has been delivered to destination. Your device connected to internet that we know, right? But what is internet? What type of device are connected? Is the routers are connected, which is cables, optical fiber cables, service providers. Like what about and the technology? How data is being transmitting? What protocol is required? TCP, IP, like all the information. So how data is moving from one device to another device? That technically we should know. Now traffic is going through internet. The internet in middle. Anyone can monitor your traffic, anyone can capture your traffic, your traffic is secure or not, like how to provide secure traffic. But all about the back end process, we should know. It tells you in which protocol is a TCP IP protocol. Next point is WAN technologies. In WAN technologies, Example, let's see here. We have a one office in Hyderabad location, and we have an office in Dublin. Different locations, geographically different locations, right? So this is my branch office one. It's my branch office two. Like how to connect with the both? What type of connectivity is required? So that will tell say in van technology. In what type of connectivities, what type of technologies are being used? All about we discuss in what van van technology. Then routing technologies. Like routing technologies means what is router and types of routers, routing protocols, all about routing technology. How packet is being traveling, how the multiple paths, how to find the best route, all about this. These are topics that have been covered here. First three days, like three sessions, have been the basis of networking, basic of router and router connectivity. In this here, we are going to discuss about how to external and internal components of router. What is router? Types of router? Functions of router? Where exactly we use router? What type of ports? What type of components are internally and externally? All about routers information you can get. Later, how to configure a brand new router and how to connect it, how to assign IP address to router, how to uh, set the password to router, all about router configuration with IPv4 as well as IP version 6. Next, WAN connectivity and configuration and subnetting. These are our router connectivity. Like once you have the knowledge on these topics, then we'll start our main course is routing path. We'll start introduction to routing, static routing, dynamic routing, static routing with IPv4 as well as IPv4. The difference between static routing and dynamic routing also. In dynamic routing protocols have a different protocols is it like distance vector, moving stage, advanced, BGP. Each and every protocol clearly will discuss one day by day, day by session by session. So once you are done your routing part, then we will go for LAN technology. LAN technology. Like within a LAN, device called switch. The types of switches, how switch will function, functions of switches, how to configure it. 
on how to provide layer two security by creating VLANs and by configuring the trunking protocol, to VLAN routing, port security, on how to avoid the loops in the LAN by configuring STP protocol, how to do the load balancing within the LAN by configuring Ether channels, port channels, how to monitor your traffic by configuring span. These technologies will come under what? Switching console. After switching, we will discuss about security. After connecting your router to network, internet, what type of attacks will be started? How to prevent that? How to control it? So, all about security topics we will discuss. In services, network services, and uh, advanced concepts. Like how to take a, a backup files, how to how, how to revert your password. If you forget the password to router, how to password recover it, how to take the backup files in your router, which is authentication method, triple authentication method, SSH, how to securely log in the router. All about this is the technique. The topics are going to cover now. Okay. So first let me start with basic of networking. The basic of networking, let me discuss only the four points. Point number one, what is network? And what is networking? Point number three, what is internetwork? And what is internetworking? The fourth point. Let's see a four points that we discuss here. Point number one network means what is network? We know network means two or more devices are being interconnected, right? But generally, if you visit any one office, like any uh, banks, any reservation counters, if you visit, you can see computers, right? The desktop, laptop, and uh, printer. Generally, we use what printer, and Xerox machines, and all the office information will stored in your server, wireless routers, some devices, cameras, biometric records. These all devices are interconnected, and we call this a network. So, network means two or more devices are being interconnected, we call network, like all devices are interconnected with switch and cables so this we call what network network means two or more devices are being interconnected what network now between these devices if you enable communication like from device one if able to communicate with device two if all devices are communicating then we call networking networking means two or more Devices are being communicating, like communication between two or more devices. What networking? Okay. Now I have a one more network. See, there is one device, device two, device three, and four, and number of devices are connected to switch with RJ forty five cable. RJ forty five. So now two or more devices are connected to this we call what network right have one more network so in this our network topology diagram we have total three networks are available network one network two network three networks out of three networks which network users can access print which network users can access server. Network one users only can access printer and server resources, right? Why? Because a resource are available in this network one. Then how network two users can access a print? How network three users can access server? Like, do we need to purchase one more printer for network two? One more network one, two, one more printer for network three? No need. Like, we need to purchase one more server for network two and uh, network three? No need. Like, generally, have a Facebook server. Like, how many? Uh, customers like how many uses? How many users are using?
Facebook server. Number of right? Now Facebook servers I have only one Facebook server, but number of people can make it. How is it possible? Here? Network is connected. Now we are connecting network one, network two, and network three. Three networks are connected now, right? Here, two or more networks are connected that we call internetwork. So one more point is internetworking. Internetworking means if enable communication between network one to network two, network one, network three, then we call this what? Internetworking. So those are four points. Network means two or more devices are connected. Communication between two or more devices connected is networking. Interconnection of two or more networks is internet work. Communication between two or more different networks are internet working. Now, next point is let me see types of network. In types of network, Example is my office building. Let's say my office name is ABC some office. The office ground floor and first floor, second floor and third floor. This is my office. Like let's see your example like a universities, in the hospitals, like different different floors in the building, right? So generally in the ground floor administration department will be like in IT companies, sales department, HR department, let's say marketing department here. Yeah. The ground floor for administration have a 20 devices. So here 100 devices, let's say here 200 devices, uh, 150 devices. Like total, uh, how many devices in my office ABC? 450, 470. Like 470 devices, right? Okay, now, you are selected as a senior uh, network engineer. Network engineer for Office ABC. Then what is your roles and responsibilities? As a network engineer, what is your daily roles and responsibilities means? In ground floor, 20 devices we need to interconnect and will enable communication. In first floor, 100 devices we need to interconnect and will enable communication. Like whatever we had discussed, the first two points network and networking, those are our roles and responsibilities. Network means we need to interconnect and then we need to enable communication. Like total, how many devices in my office building? 470 devices we need to connect and we need to enable communication, right? To connect 470 devices or 570 or 5000, any number of devices, and to enable communication, as a network engineer, what knowledge we require? So, if you are perfect, you have a very strong knowledge on LAN technologies, then within your office, within your building, all devices you can manage. So, we require very good knowledge on what? LAN technology. Local area network. So what is LAN? The definition of LAN means what is N? N means network, right? Network means two or more devices are interconnected in limited area or local area. Example, within a room or within a floor or within a building or within a campus. These all are limited area. So to manage this within the limited area, we require very good knowledge in what? Land technology. Right? So this is my office in Adobar location. I have one more office in Bangalore. This is my branch one, this is my branch. As a network engineer, our responsibility is what? We are 
connecting 470 with India land devices are enabled communication. Not only that, your branch one marketing department and branch two marketing department should communicate, right? Like branch office one HR department, HR department should communicate. Then what will you do? Like we need to enable communication from branch office one to branch office two. To maintain these two branches in their different locations, network engineer requires knowledge on technology say van technology now this is one network this is another network two different networks they are connecting this we call what internet work enable communication internet working the four points are network engineer rules and response for this don't think four points are very simple complete technology is in the four point so what are the four points network you need to connect your all network we are responsible and enable communication. We are responsible for network engineer. The next is what? Inter network means in India, we have a number of branches. In world, we have a number of branches. We need to connect it. Inter network and then enable communication. Inter networking. So finally, network engineer roles and responsibilities is we need to form a network, enable communication, and the different networks are. To maintain all those things, we require what knowledge means LAN and WAN technology. If you are good in LAN and WAN technologies, then you can easily manage. So, these are mostly our courses C, C, N, A, R, and S, routing and switching, right? Routing will teach you about WAN technologies, switching will teach you about LAN technology. Types of network. One is LAN, one more is WAN. Now let's see basic requirements. Basic requirements to form a network. What we need. Form a network generally in ground floor 20 devices, in first floor 100 devices, right? Like 20 devices to interconnect what we need. The requirements are the first one is network interface card, media, networking devices. Networking devices are which is wireless access point, router, and firewall. These devices are required. The fourth one is logical address, which is IP address, it can be IPv4 or IPv6. What are one more requirement is a protocols. The protocol is TCP IP protocol. So these are our basic requirements to form a net. Or the devices to connect or to communicate. The five requirements are needed. From branch office one twenty devices to branch office twenty devices to communicate. The five requirements are needed. Your device and your friend device are connected internet. They are communicating, right? How they communicating means the five requirements are needed. We see all the five requirements one by one. The first one is an IC network interface card. Have you seen the NIC?
चलिए कंप्यूटर्स इन वर्क विद ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम without operating system can you work with the computer no it's not possible then what is the use of os we used to connect keyboard or uh, uh, device mouse your hard disk hard drive and your pen drive right these all are hardware components now as a user how we can interact with the hardware components This is the hardware, right? As the users, we are the users. How we can interact with the hardware component directly? We cannot interact. So user can utilize user can interact with any hardware components through operating system. So here, what is the main purpose of operating system? Is operating system is a interface between the user to interact with hardware. Right? Similarly, N I C. What is I here? Interface. So it is also an interface to form a network. The interface for what interface? Network means two or more devices to connect. So to connect one device to another device between we require what? I see interface. Like one device to another device or one device to many devices. Like to form a LAN or to form a WAN. First we need what? And I see it can be physical or it can be wireless. And I see the required. And I see the Interface to form a network, right? So this NIC, we have two addresses are available, which we call MAC address and IP address. This MAC address has been provided by manufacturer. IP address we can assign, we can change. This MAC address we can call it is a hardware address, or we can call it is generally physical. Physical address. This MAC address is forty-eight bit MAC address, forty-eight bits. This forty-eight bits represent in twelve hexadecimal number. What is hexadecimal number? Zero, one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Decimal numbers like ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But nation can understand. Ten is Y, that's B, that's C, D, E, and F. The combination of zero to nine and eight to F is hexadecimal number. Your MAC address will be combination of zero to nine and eight to F in how many? Well, hexadecimal number. For example, any any numbers you can use. For example, only zero y two nine c y six two like one two three four and four more like uh, d c nine. Same matter. Like how we can check for your computer's MAC addresses? So just open the command prompt and type get MAC. Enter. You get here. Remember my MAC address. MAC address, or we can call it what? Physical address. This forty-eight bit MAC address are being divided into two parts. First twenty-four bits and second twenty-four bits. So by saying this, this NIC card, which company is main manufacturer? We don't know, right? Like 
Your 40 MAC address first 24 bits will tell you manufacturer ID. So this first 24 bits of MAC address we call OUI. Organization unique identifier. Or we can call it manufacturer ID. And second 24 bits of MAC address is serial number. Serial number of MI. Now let me see one small scenario about MIC. This is my computer and uh, I need a internet. I contact my service provider, this ISP, internet service provider. When you purchase a PC, you can have default is what? NIC card is available. This NIC card, we can call it as a Ethernet or LAN card, RG45 port also. This Ethernet port can support Maximus 10 MVSP. Now, from internet cable, I connect to my computer. This is only this example. Don't think your ISP direct to your PC. This example. I'm paying for 500 rupees for ISP. I'm getting 5 Mbps speed from service provider. But my PC can support how much speed? 10 Mbps, right? Your NIC card is 10 Mbps max. Like how much speed you can get now? 5 Mbps or 10 Mbps? Or 5 plus 10, 15 Mbps? No. ISP will provide only what? 5 Mbps. Means you can get only 5 Mbps. So 5 Mbps speed is not a sufficient. Okay? Like what I am doing is, I am paying for service provider 1000 rupees. Now ISP is providing 10 Mbps. Now how much speed you can get? You can get 10 Mbps, right? Now I have installed some virtual machines in my computer. VMware, maybe I'm a web developer, like maybe multimedia developer facing, like movie making. So I'm working some high speed applications. Then 10 MBPS is not enough, right? So what I'm doing is I'm paying for service provider 9000 rupees. My ISP providing is 90 MBPS. But how much speed I can get now? I can get only 10 MBPS. Why? Because your NIC card maximum can support up to what? 10 MBPS. Even ISP is providing 90 MBPS, it can utilize only 10 MBPS. How we can utilize 90 MBPS? Now we have to upgrade. Now we have to change your NIC. So we have one more type of uh, Ethernet port is available, which is fast. Fast Ethernet. So this fast Ethernet card can support up to 100 MBPS. Like we have one more type of Ethernet port is available, is gigabit Ethernet card. It can support up to 1000 Mbps or 1 Gbps. So these all are types of NIC cards Ethernet, fast Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet. Now we can come to know your laptop is Ethernet or fast Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet. Have we checked the work? No, right? I'll show you how to check your laptop is or your desktop is a what type of NIC card is there. Let me check from my laptop here. I'm opening a uh, run box, press Windows R key and type ncpa dot cpl enter. This is my LAN LAN adapter. Ethernet port or fast Ethernet, we will be checking now here. Right click on your adapter properties. Configure option. Click on advanced. Last line you can see here speed and duplex, right? Right side value. So here you can get. My NAC card can support 10 MBPS full duplex, 10 MBPS half also, and 100 MBPS full duplex and 100 MBPS full half duplex. So maximum is what here? 100 MBPS means my LAN card is fast Ethernet port. Like we can check. So this is all about first point is NIC. Next one is what media. It's about media. So 
types of media one is guided media and unguided media it is wired which is wireless wired and wireless coaxial cable twisted pair cable fiber so a twisted pair cable actually have a udp unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted unguided infrared and rf radio frequency one by one. First one, coaxial cable. Have you seen the coaxial cable? So this is a coaxial cable actually. Right? Generally, this cable where we use nowadays for television. The long back we use for data transmission also. Nowadays we are not making use why because it support very low speed. The coaxial cable present we are using for what? Television. Okay. okay. Now twisted pair. Uh, optical fiber cable. Optical fiber cable used for internet service provider. For long distance, for high speed, mostly. ISP but most commonly use a twisted pair cables, right? For your offices, for your homes, twisted pair cables. Let me discuss them both clearly on twisted pair cable. Twisted pair cables are two starting list. One is single pair cable and uh, four pair cable. Single pair cable is how so we call it is a RJ11 and fourth pair is a RJ45 a register dock as per IEEE standards. Single pair is what RJ11 and fourth pair is what RJ45. Where we use RJ11 cables means telephone lines. In telephone lines, we use RJ11 cables and RJ45 cables used in where LAN and local networks to come. The first example we discussed in our organization so within the building to connect your 20 devices, to connect your 100 devices, or to connect more than 470 devices. So within a LAN, what type of cables we require means RJ45 cables using the LAN. In RJ45 cables, again, we have a different type of categories. It is CAT5, CAT5E, and CAT6 cable. So what is the difference between these cables means your data transmission rate, DTR. This CAT5 cable can transmission your transmission speed, I mean, transmission rate is 100 MBP. If it's CAT 5E, your transmission rate, CAT 5 cable transmission rate is 500 MBP. Can support up to 500 MBP. The CAT 6 cable says can support up to 1000 MBP. So these are all categories in RJ45 CAT 5, CAT 5E, and CAT 6 cable. Within the LAN, we use what? Twisted pair cable. Next, networking devices. Networking devices are what? Switches, wireless access point, router, firewall. We'll discuss it now one by one. Where we use switch and what is switch means? The switch point here. It is a hardware device that centralized communication between wide devices connected within your LAN. First point means, in our office, in ground floor, administration department have a 20 device, right? In 20 device are, let's say, all are desktops. So desktops for support for what type of connectivity, wide or wireless, wide, right? 
So to interconnect all 20 devices by using wire, then we have to make use. Here all 20 device cables are connected with. So switch is a hardware device that centralized communication between wired devices connected within a LAN. The next example, the sales department have a hundred devices. A hundred devices are let's say laptop. The laptop can support whatever connectivity. It can support for wired and wireless both, right? Then in the first floor we have to install either switch or can go for wireless access point. Wireless access point. Is all hundred devices are connected to wireless access point? This wireless access point can support for what wide and wireless also. Means your sales department and administrative department how they can communicate means make a one cable from wireless uh, wireless access point to switch. It can support for wide also. In HR department, have a uh, all these all devices are supporting for wide. Then keep one switch here. Make one more link from wireless access point to switch. In marketing department, have a switches all our desktops. Then make a one more link here. Now all one fifth one seventy devices can communicate each other. This is the connectivity within your LAN. Either it can go for switch, either it can go for what wireless access point within the LAN. Here not router is not required. Here router is not even come in the picture. Now router will come in the picture. We will see now. Now where router is coming. Now your branch office one users and branch office two users want to communicate. So this is one network. This is another network. When you are connecting two or more different networks, now router will come in the picture. The router is a device which enables communication between two or more different logical networks. See, wireless access point and router. Router it is a device which enables communication between what? Two or more different logical networks. Okay, now router is connected. Then how can connect to branch office to so first my router is connected to a internet, right? Internet. Now internet is a public network. As long as your router is not connected to internet, then your network is secure. But once if your router is connected to internet, now the public network maybe can get attacks. Attacks will start. Like all public traffic is trying to hit your LAN. Then how we can filter? How we can understand which traffic is authorized, which traffic is unauthorized? We have to use one device called here firewall. What firewall will do? What the traffic is coming from outside will stop it and stop the traffic and examine. You are authorized or unauthorized. If it is authorized, okay, go. If it is unauthorized, drop it here. Like, what are the job is doing a security guard in front of your office? Any traffic is coming from outside, you will stop them. You check their ID card. If it is valid, okay, allow. If it is not valid, press it, deny, block it. Similarly, so we have dealt to firewall. Firewall allow. Mail traffic, firewall block Facebook traffic, firewall allow like Google, firewall allow like some social media like YouTube. Like whatever the traffic I want to allow, what traffic I want to deny, the rules, the policies we need to configure inside the firewall, then firewall control it. So next device is firewall it is a device which protects the network from what? Unauthorized traffic based upon the policies configured that we need to configure. The firewall can be allowed or it can be what denies that rules you need to tell to the firewall. So these are our networking devices. This I am introducing about all the devices. I have a detailed explanation about in the coming session, which is wireless access point, router, and fire. Which is, is a hardware device which centralized communication through white. Wireless access point is a device which centralizes the communication through wide and wireless. Router is a device which enables communication between two or more different logical networks. And firewall is a device which controls another traffic by defining a rules and policies. Right?
Wait a minute. These are the requirements. First one is NIC, media, network to the If we're going to IP address, discuss one point here. Now, to form a network, first requirement is a NIC. Without NIC, can you form a network? No, it's not formed, right? Next requirement is what? Media. For data transmission purpose, media is must. Media means it can be wired or wireless, whatever media is required. Without media, can you form a network? No, it's not possible without media. Next one is what? Networking device like a switches, hubs, routers, access point. So without networking device, can you form a network? Yes, we can form a network. Like how is possible? We check now it's like computer one, computer two, computer three, computer four, computer five, and six. Six computers are connected with one backbone, a central cable. So here I'm not making use any networking device like a switch or wireless access point or router. All devices are connected to one cable. This is our network topology, this is our network design. So this type of topology we call what? Bus topology. The bus topology, all devices are connected to one cable. Now, device one, device two, all devices can, can communicate. But how they can communicate? What type of communication is possible means? The communication have a different type of communications. One is simplex communication, half duplex communication, and uh, full duplex communication or duplex communication we can call it what is simplex communication what is half duplex what is full duplex simplex means one way communication like from your tv stations the tv can receive signals tv can generate signals no always from tv stations the tv can receive it and give the output it's one way it's simplex communication from radio stations Radio will receive the signals. Radio will generate? No. Simplex communication. The thing is, what is half duplex communication means if any one device sending the information to another device. At the same time, if other devices are sending, the data traffic is being colla collision, collapse. So either it can transmit it, either it can receive. Simultaneously sending and receiving is not possible. That type of communication we call what? Half duplex. The best example of half duplex communication is like walkie talkies, either you can transmit it, either you can be received, right? The full duplex communication means so one user is sending data packet to second user, third user is sending the data packet to third user. Yes, all the users can share the same time, sending and receiving the same time. You see, full duplex communication. If you design the topology like a bus topology, your bus topology can support only for half duplex communication. Means device one. Device two, device three, four, five, six computers. When first computer is sending some data for second computer, remaining all the, all users want to wait for it. Now, when second user is sending data packet to first user, now remaining all users have to wait for it. When one is sending, three also sending to two, the data has been collision. This is very slow network process. It is a bus stop problem. The drawback of this it can support only for what half duplex communication moreover like all devices are connected to one single link if single link is being failed no communication completely your network is being down that's one of the drawbacks single point of failure one more point is present have a how many computers six computers right like after some time i want to add my seventh computer to my existing network then what we need to do we need to stop communication for six computers when you're connecting this Seventh, when you are adding to 7th computer network, 
your six device communication is being stopped now after connecting someone now again all device will start communicating that communication is also what how to get communication like another one more device want to add here like remaining all devices will disturb you you need to stop the communication is the problem with the bus stop or delay technology next one is after some time like you have a design one more two apologies device one device two device three device four and device five example number one device two five device like all five devices are circularly connected like this type of topology we call what ring ring topology Ring topology, how data transmission is possible? Let me check now. Example, first computer want to send some data to fifth computer. So first PC is a source and the fifth PC is what? Destination. Data traffic is being started. Yeah, data traffic very nearest connector, right? Directly can send. No, it's not possible. Yeah, ring topology can support data transmission like a clockwise direction. It means what PC one will do? will send to 2, 2 will send to 3, 3 will send to 4, 4 will send to what? 5. We generate some broken actually here. Broken ring. So this data traffic when it's going to 2 and 2 to 3, if third PC has been shut down, or maybe link between 3 and 4 is down, this PC can receive it? No, it's not possible. Like this, it's also a covering topology. Like after some time, have designed one more topology, say, like device 1, device 2, device 3, device 4, device 5. See, in bus topology, no network device. In ring topology, no networking devices, right? One more topology is a, like PC 1 and 2, 5 computers. From first PC NIC to second PC NIC, I connected one cable, or your part by cable. Now PC 1, PC 2 only can communicate, right? But I need a communication for PC 3 also. I am adding one more NIC cards for first PC. Connected three. Now one, two, three can communicate. What about four and five? Like add one more interface. Add one more NIC. Now how many NIC card is being added in the first computer? Four NIC card. Now one, two, three, four, and five can communicate, right? So what is the good advantage of here? If link between first PC, second PC is a fail, no problem. First and second only can cannot communicate, but three, four, five can communicate, right? Here, no single point of failure. But even if link has been failed and it's still communication means, like add one more interface in the two, connect it to three, connect it to four, connect it to five, five to four, four to three. Like if you design like this, this type of topology we call full mesh topology, mesh. Even the link failure also no problem, they can communicate. No single point of failure, full redundancy, full backup is available. Thing is, you know what? First PC for NIC, second PC for NIC cards, third PC for NIC cards, here for NIC cards. Like to connect five computers, we require 20 NIC cards, right? And 20 cables. Very complex, very high co cost effective, right? Here, yeah. it's a problem. The real time, mostly we use instead of designing bus topology, instead of designing ring and Full mesh topology. Number of devices, like two or more. Number of devices are being connected to one centralized device. So this centralized device can be switch or it can be wireless access point based upon your device type. Wide device or wireless device. If it's a wide device, then use what? Switch. So number of devices are connected to one centralized device. This topology we call star topology. Star topology means number of devices are coming to one centralized device. So to design the star topology, we require network devices. The best, the most commonly used topology what star topology. If all are wireless devices, then don't use switch. Use what? Wireless access point.
network topology topology ring topology star and mix this most commonly used topology was star topology data is going like this ring topology star topology mix topology see now how to set up a network network diagram how in the real time how the devices are connected example pcs this is pc number 1 and pc number 2 and pc number 3 three computers three computers are supporting for what type of connectivity is means here wide right so to centralize these three devices which device we use now pc 1 2 3 can communicate have a printer printer is also supporting for wide on a two switch they are connected have a server if is ftp server and if is a mail server ip phone or are supporting for wide connectivity so centralize it to use what switch again now from pc 1 how can communicate to server from pc 1 how can communicate to mail server ftp server just make a link from switch a and to switch b okay one cross cable now all device can communicate next example is have a pc 4 and 5 and 6 computer 5 6 computers so 4 5 6 computers are supporting for wireless devices so to centralize this communication we require you know which device wireless access point now pc 4 pc 5 pc 6 three pcs can communicate then how i can communicate from 4 to mail server pc 4 to file server pc 4 to printer the wireless access point can support for wide and wireless right then make a one connection from wireless access point to switch b now all in devices are connected to switches or wireless access point this is my network now from this computer i want to communicate with different branch of his computer then we required what router will come in the picture so don't think your all in devices are directly connected to router No, not like this. Generally, your in devices are connected to what switches or access point. From your all in devices uh, switches, only one cable is connected to what router. Not two cables. Now router is connected to what firewall. The firewall is connected to. Now when traffic is internet is what public network, right? when internet is connected now attacks are starting to the network attacks are traffic so how do you find the firewall what the firewall is doing is stopping the traffic and examine okay which traffic is this authorized or unauthorized if is authorized allow it is unauthorized drop it denied now one of my employee he is trying to open facebook page facebook.com now traffic is coming to this user come to switch to switch and to the router router to what firewall now what firewall will do oh user you are using facebook no no it's not permitted i'm dropping your request drop it and allow like another employee is trying to open a gmail mail survey the traffic is coming this user to switch and switch to switch and router router to firewall what firewall will do okay user you are trying to open the mail no problem you are permitted give it So which staff you want to allow? Which staff you want to deny? That rules you need to define the firewall. These are set up in the real time. Also, has been connected. So networking devices. Next one is what? Logical address. Logical address means IP address. Have two points here, IP and address. IP is a protocol. Address for what? Identification purpose. Like this, IP address have two versions. One is IP version four and IP version six. IPv4 is thirty-two bits. Next session we will. IPv4 is a thirty-two bits, right? 
means how to 32 bits, how to convert it to binary decimal, decimal to binary, how to differentiate it, all about logics. We will discuss pre earlier. Like example, 192, 168, 1.1 is a class A or B or C. What purpose we use ABC classes, how to understand which IP is which class, ranges of IP addresses. All the logics we are discussing here. Protocols. Protocol means TCP IP. How data is being transferred from one device to another device about the thing. Now, let's say LAN cable type. Like within a building in a LAN, what type of cable space generally we have discussed about what? RJ45 cable type. In RJ45 cable type, we'll see what? Type 2 cable, crossover cable, rollover cable. These all are LAN cable types. So, first one is type 2 cable. Where we use type 2 cable means to connect different type of devices. We use side cable. To connect same type of devices, cross cable. Example, different type of device means your PC is connected to a switch. The PC and switch, different type of device, right? Then use side cable. And switch is connected to router. Switch and router, different type of devices. Then use what? Side cable. Or else your PC to PC, same type of devices, cross cable. Switch to switch, same type of devices, cross cable. The straight track cable is used for different type of connectivity. Cross cable used for same type of connectivity. Then where we use ro rollover cable? Like when you purchase one brand new router or firewall, like how to configure it? To configure routers, firewalls, switches, initially we use rollover cable. Your network admin PC. Connected to router console port through which cable is a roller cable, and you can provide the basic configuration part. So, roller cable for troubleshooting and initial configuration, configuration purpose. Be. So, generally used for connecting to different type of different uh, devices, type of device, right? This is a color coding to identify which is side cable means like this first wire a pair the first wire is a combination of what orange and white let me uh, zoom it once Like orange white, the combination of orange white, right? This is orange completely. Combinations of first white is a orange white combination, second white is what orange, and uh, third third white is a combination of what green white, the blue, blue white, green, brown white, brown. This is one end, one side. If other end, same combination orange white, or orange, green white, blue, blue white, green, brown white, brown. So by seeing the two ends, in one end, other end, if it's the same cable, same color coding, then we call this one straight cable. So where we use straight cable to connect different type of devices. The next one is cross wire cable. Generally used for connecting same type of device. PC to PC, switch to switch, router to firewall, PC to firewall. Like Router, firewall, similar type of device. PC, router, both are similar type of device. Cross cable. See how can find out which is a cross cable means connectivity. Cable. See 
here first wire is what orange white combination wire in one end so this orange white combination wire in other end is going to the which place is it in second wire is what orange right in the one end first end in other end it's complete orange is going to which place is a sixth place in third place green white green white is going for first like cross connections cross cable where we use pc like similar type of device simple example type to cable one one two three eight bytes four pages what are the colors in one end same colors in other end side cable cross cable one end is a one other end will go for what third page sixth page first page same they are same second they are same they are right same you see first one is type to cable means cross over cable now let's say a roll over cable one two roll over cable is very simple and very easy one two three quite opposite roll over what are the colors here then we'll start it about what roll it over roll over okay other end color code orange white in one end eighth place orange down the place whatever opposite Generally used for what purpose connecting router console port to compo your PC router to PC. Like so first day we are done with our basics of networking, right? Requirements to form network and IC media networking devices or all of our devices. IP address logics we are not yet discussed. The coming session we discuss and protocol also. But next session we discuss. Thing is, how how we can practice in online? Like in online participants who are the joining in online, like uh, how we can is, to do the practical. We required. Computers, at least three computers, and uh, switch to interconnect it. The cables are required, and router is required. Between router to cable is required. Like minimum two routers are required, and one more switch is required. Now one more device are required. Like to make a setup, to understand if is your one branch one, is your branch two. Like between this connectivity. So these are minimum devices are required. How we can practice means we have one uh, simulation software. You see, this Cisco packet tracer student. Let me open it and I'll explain you how to work on it. Like if we install this uh, application software, the free software, free application, you can get in the uh, online. You download it. There is no uh, hardware specific hardware requirement. This software can support for any hardware, like a minimum uh, 1 GB or 5 to 12 GB RAM also it can be supported. No hardware specifications. This is the phase your entire CCNA routing and switching and security uh, classes and practicals will be going and practice here. Example, you see here in the down, you have uh, 2620 router, 2611, different model numbers is it? Taking one click on it yeah, this is your router and switch we'll take one switch and we'll take one pc the connection cable you can see console cable here's copper side cable here crossover cable fiber cable phone cable coaxial and serial all the different cables 
So we know right way to use stripe cable like router to switch, switch to PC. Different type of device use what stripe to cable. Use your stripe to cable. Click on router with your fast Ethernet port and switch. The number of ports is there. You can cut any port. One more cable from your switch, any one of the port to your PC, fast Ethernet port. The connectivity is there. In the configuration, how to assign IP address to PC? Like click on your PC, your desktop, IP configuration, IP address. Some example 192.168.1.10, your subnet mask. 255.255.255.0. Then close it. And open your command prompt here. Here I can check the communication. Use ping command. Self check ping. 127.0.0.1. Like give the reply. And if you want to add one more PC, add one more device to your same network. Add cable. Your switch to the PC. Let me assign one IP address to second PC. Let's stop IP configuration 192.168.1.20. First PC IP is 1.10, second PC is 1.20, right? Now, from first computer, I'm trying to check communication for second computer. Generally, we use command is what ping is a command to check communication. The second computer IP address 192.168.1.20. Getting reply the packet send port, receive port, zero last, second last. Communicating. We'll see in the coming sessions how to configure router, how to configure switch. The flow we are going to form a network by using NIC media networking devices. And next session, we will speak about what, what is the importance of IP address, how to understand IP address logic with IPv4 and IPv2. Next coming session, about what protocols are today. We have finished the basics of four points and types of networks and importance of networks about NIC and Indian a logical uh, address map, right. Working devices and NIC types, how to check your network interface card speed, also have this one right in the point. Now, we have any doubts, you can uh, send me the text here, uh, I'll be respond to the chat box. Have any queries and you can text me, uh, I'll respond to you. So, after the end of the session, you can unmute your mic and you can speak with me also. Right, uh, thank you, thank you for the session.